हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आर टूडे टॉपिक इज न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लॉ ऑफ इनर्सिया सो लेट एस फर्स्टली सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन स्टेट्स दैट ए बॉडी कंटिन्यूज टू रिमेन इन स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट और ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म मोशन अलॉन्ग ए स्ट्रेट लाइन अनलेस एन एक्सटर्नल अनबैलेंसड फोर्स एक्ट्स ऑन इट दैट इज If a body is moving in a straight line, it will continue to move in that direction or in the straight line unless we will apply an external force on it. And if body is in rest, then it will continue to remain in that state unless we will apply an external force on it. That is, it will resist any change. It will try to remain in the same state. in which it is already unless we will apply an external force on the body now let us take an example we take an example of a ball suppose this ball is in the state of rest this will continuously remain in this state unless we will apply an external force on this ball that is unless any body will kick the ball only then it will uh it starts to move otherwise it will always remain in the state of rest so and similarly if ball is moving continuously then it will come to the state of rest only when some external force will act on this ball that force may be the frictional force of the ground or any other force that will stop this ball so uh, it will resist the change if it is in motion then it will try to remain in the state of motion unless an external force will act on it and if it is in the state of rest then it will try to remain in that state unless external force will be applied on it similarly if this ball is going in the straight line then it will try to remain in that same direction that same straight line unless we will apply some kick or some other external force to change its direction in any other direction so here we uh, can say that this ball is resisting any change so from here we can conclude that every body possesses a property by virtue of which it resists any change in its state of rest or of uniform motion and this property by virtue of which it resists any change is called inertia so inertia is the property by virtue of which it resists the Change. That's why we also called this law law of inertia. So inertia is that property. If we have to define the inertia, then we can say that inertia is that property by virtue of which body will resist any change. If it is in the state of motion, then it will try to remain in the state of motion. and if it is in the state of rest then it will try to remain in the same state and it, if it this is going in any particular direction then it will try to go in the same direction unless we will uh, apply any force on it any unbalanced force on it so this is a definition of newton's first law and we also discuss the definition of inertia inertia is the property by virtue of which it resists the any change property by virtue of which it resists any change in its state so now inertia come to the inertia inertia may be of three types now let us discuss the inertia of these so firstly first type is that inertia of rest what is the inertia of rest from the name it is very clear that the tendency of a body to resist a change in its state of rest 
means if a body is in the state of rest then it will try to remain in the same state it will resist the change the tendency of a body to resist change in its state of rest is called inertia of rest now let us understand this inertia of rest with the ex with the help of examples firstly we we are taking the example of ripe fruit generally in exam question comes that that why ripe fruits will fall down when trunk is shaken vigorously when we uh, shake the trunk of the tree vigorously then what happen the fruits will fall down then why these fruits will fall down let us take here we have a tree trunk of tree and there are several branches with fruits now what will happen when we will shake the trunk of the tree then here we are applying the external force then trunk will move trunk and branches can move but here fruit will try to remain in it in the same state that is in the state of rest so what will happen these branches will move from their position but fruits will try to remain in the same state so when branches will be moved then fruits will be detached from the branch because it will try to attain at the same position and will fall down because it will be detached so here the fruit is possessing the inertia of rest because it is trying to remain in the state of rest second example from which we can understand the inertia of rest dust particles that why dust particles fall down when we beat a mat with stick we have generally seen that when we beat a mat with a stick a mat possessing uh, several dust particles and we are beating actually when we are applying the force on the mat then mat will remove will change its position but dust particles will try to remain in the same state of rest that they will resist the change they will not move but mat will be displaced from its position then mat will move backward or it can move forward but dust particle will remain in that same position and they will fall down so here this is also the example of inertia, inertia of rest here dust particles are trying to attain the inertia of rest next example third example which is very important example and generally asked in exam that why passengers in a bus fall backward when bus suddenly starts moving for example a bus is in rest then passengers are also in rest but suddenly bus starts moving when bus was in rest passengers were also in rest but generally when bus starts moving then lower portion of the passengers will come in the motion with the bus as bus is moving forward then lower portion will also come in motion but the upper portion will try to remain in the same state that is the state of rest so bus will move forward lower part will not be affected but upper part of the person will try to remain in the rest and will fall backwards when bus suddenly starts moving so this, this is also the example of inertia of rest that is the reason that passengers fall backwards when bus suddenly starts moving so these from these three examples we have tr uh, tried to understand the inertia of rest now come to the second type of inertia that is the inertia of motion this is opposite to the inertia of rest the tendency of a body to resist any change in its state of motion is known as inertia of motion that is if a body is in motion then it will try to remain in the same state that is in the state of motion 
unless we will apply an external force. So here we can also take the examples and understand this concept clearly. So first example is question generally came that why passengers fall forward when bus stops moving suddenly. This is opposite to the previous example which we have taken in the inertia of rest that why passengers fall forward when bus stops moving suddenly. This is the opposite reason. When bus was in the motion then passengers sitting in the bus was were also in the state of motion but when bus suddenly stops then what will happen the lower part with the bus come to the rest but upper part of the passenger because lower part is in the contact of bus so with the bus it will suddenly came to the rest but upper part will try to remain in the same state that is in the state of motion and when bus will stop it and the upper part of the passengers in motion then passengers will fall forward so this is the reason why passengers fall forward and next question which is generally asked in the exam why oil or water tank vehicles always have empty space in the tank for example we have a tanker or truck we can say any vehicle so here we have put some tank tanks oil tanks or we can say water tanks generally in this we will fill we will not fill these tanks up to the end there will be always some empty space why this empty space is left this empty space is left when the tanker stops on road the oil tends to be in motion due to the inertia of motion because when when vehicle is in motion then tankers and the oil was were also in motion when uh, this vehicle stops suddenly then what will happen the oil or we can say these tanks will try to remain in the same state that is in the state of motion and what will happen then when it will stop suddenly then oil or water will spill out from the containers cause of inertia of motion so this is also the example of inertia of motion which is explaining the inertia of motion so we have understand the inertia of motion with the help of examples now come to the third type of inertia that is inertia of direction what is the inertia of direction so, so firstly definition is that it is the tendency of the body to resist any change in its direction of motion means if body as we have already taken an example of ball that is when ball is in moving in the straight line then it will continuously move in the straight line unless we will apply an external force so this is so that's why it resists the change in its direction so this is the inertia of direction that body will try to remain in the same direction unless we will apply an external force on it now with the help of examples let us explain the inertia of direction when a moving car takes a steep turn for example this car is moving in the straight line but after a certain distance when this car, car takes a steep turn then passengers fall outwards why because passengers try to remain in the same direction that is in the straight forward direction but suddenly car takes a move that's why they uh, resist the change they resist the change in direction and they always tend to uh, remain in the same direction that is in the straight direction but as the direction of car changes suddenly when they resist they will fall the outward direction so this is the inertia of direction and next we can take an activity uh, you can 
perform this activity also tie some stone with this string take a string and with string tie some stone and whirl it around in a circular motion when we will for example here a person is standing in his hand this person is whirling out in the circular motion ठीक है and uh, uh, as the circular motion till the time when the person is applying the force to con to uh, to continue this motion it will be in circular motion as the person will release the string then for example here the stone comes here the stone comes but here at this point let us assume that person release the string it left the he left the string then what will happen then then stone will go tangentially cause here up to that time when the man was applying the force on the uh, stone to remain it in the position that is in the circular motion it will remain but as the external force is cut off then what will happen from here it will not turn it will not change the direction stone will not change the direction it will try to remain in the same direction in which it is already for here direction will be the straight line that is stone will go in this direction and will not go in this direction so this is the inertia from this activity we can clearly understand the inertia of direction so this uh, this was our today's topic in which we have discussed the newtons first law that is law of inertia we had uh, discussed about inertia and types of inertia with the example and examples which we have discussed are the important questions in the exams thank you and for next video stay tuned